Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today I wanted to take just a few minutes to discuss the differences between wind link over 2 meter and wind link over HF. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So there was a comment left on last Tuesday's video by Karen Hart, and I'm going to paraphrase here a bit. Uh, but he talks about them having a lot of problems with Winlink where there was no cell service because restoring and deploying those repeaters was not giving a priority. And he's referencing the relief efforts following Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico. So I wanted to take just a few minutes to kind of uh, explore that a bit. Now first, let me say I have no clue what kind of gear those guys had, what kind of training those guys had. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they were doing the absolute best they could with the uh, situation that they were given. But it sounds to me like they were trying to use Winlink over 2 meter from the way that comment read. Uh, and we can run into some real problems, especially when we have a disaster like Maria that is so widespread. So I wanted to kind of take a few minutes just to look at some of the differences uh, of Winlink over 2 meter versus Winlink over HF. Uh, so some of the pros and cons, if you will. So let's look first at some of the pros of using Winlink over two meters. First, it's faster. You're running either 1200 or 9600 baud uh, packet. So it's uh, at least four times faster than working with HF. Another uh, big advantage is you can get away with using less expensive radios. You don't need, um, you don't need an HF radio to do this. In fact, I've even hooked it up and ran a uh, two meter wind link over a Baofeng before. Not a great experience, but it did work. But with two meters, you're, you have limited range. Uh, it's basically line of sight, uh, just like voice would work. Uh, you might get a little bit more out of it uh, than voice, but not by much. And two meter gateways can be easily taken offline in an event like Maria that was, so, uh, that was so widespread. So if that's all they were relying on uh, in Puerto Rico was a two meter wind link system, I can see how they had huge problems with that setup. So that's where you would want to swap and start using HF uh, wind link. That would allow you much longer distance uh, communications. So if they were in Puerto Rico, they, my thinking is they would have been able to hit uh, one of the gateways back in maybe South Florida uh, that still had the infrastructure and was connected to the internet, and that would have helped them in passing Winlink messages. However, there are a few cons with using Winlink HF. First off, you need a more expensive radio. Uh, HF radios are quite a bit more expensive, typically speaking, than your two meter radios. So that's, uh, you know, that's one drawback to it. The second thing is it requires uh, more antenna. With uh, HT, you might can get away with a 19 inch whip over uh, two meters or 440. You start talking about HF antennas and uh, 40 meters, you're looking at nearly 70 feet. Uh, so that takes, uh, you know, more resources and uh, more time to deploy that antenna. And then the other thing with HF that's a, a drawback is the speed. Uh, remember I told you earlier you could get 1200 and up to 9600 over 2 meter or 440. And with HF, you're limited to about 300 baud. So, uh, you know, you, you've got a lot slower speeds to work with. But if you're in a situation where you can't get to a 2 meter gateway, HF is your only option. So there's my thoughts on uh, Winlink 2 meter versus HF. Uh, guys, get out there and play with both of them. Uh, I'm going to use 2 meters uh, if I have that option just because it's faster, it's simpler uh, for antenna deployment and things like that. Uh, and I, I want to use that when, you know, when it's available. When it's not available though, that's where we need to fall back on our HF skill set and be able to pass that traffic long distance. All right, guys, this one was kind of short, but we will see you in the video coming out Friday. Until then, 7-3. And he's referencing, uh, but if you uh, are in a situation where you can't get to a two meter repeater,